So let's talk about Desolation, which is a movie that just came out on Netflix that I just watched. I think it came out on Netflix like a week or two ago. And watching this movie, I I feel like I'm more lenient on it than probably a lot of other people are because on IMDb it has like a 4.7 out of 10, which I'm not saying I disagree with that. Like, I understand completely why it's that rating, but... Um, but of course, like anything, I'll try to give this movie credit for something that I think that is all right about it, and I think that this movie is not the worst thing ever. Um, I'll try not to. Mi I try not to do that with any movie. Try not to go into it thinking it's the worst thing ever. There are a few occasions where I feel that way, but this is not one of those occasions. Um, this movie is just about a woman and her kid and her friend um, going into the woods hiking to go and give the woman's husband's ashes throw him off like throw him off in the woods so then like he where he wanted them to go and they go to the woods and hike and encounter a kind of homeless man with a beard um with glasses and there's nothing else to explain about this guy but um he starts stalking them and that's pretty much the story of the movie which is fine like it uh, it can be done fine with that type of movie but this one in terms of the horror elements like it's a horror thriller it's not very good at all it's really just like this guy isn't intimidating like this guy is literally like a walking phoenix or rob zombie looking guy just following this these people around and it's kind of silly it's not really scary at all um so the horror part isn't good but the thing I will give this movie credit for is that I actually thought that these characters, since this movie is based, like, isn't much all about this guy following them, it's got these three characters, um, this woman and her kid and then her friend, they kind of have ca good character development for this, like, well, good for a horror movie, like, it's not, like complex or like amazing writing but these characters with the acting I thought was actually really solid like this was a solid had some solid like dramatic moments to it um as opposed to the bad horror part of it because the way that these characters are interpreted I, I like that we get a lot about these characters about especially about the mom and the son and then about the mom's friend like they all have like something about them that we learn and we learn kind of their lives in a way and the way that they're acting is really good like they've like you feel like they've been like the mom and the girl have been friends forever you feel like the mom and the kid have a good relationship like they the acting is really good and the kid actor is really good in this movie too there's a couple moments where like these characters break down because of the situation they're in and like kind of push each other in into a point of no return where like the kid who the mom hasn't told him a lot of stuff he pushes her into this situation where like the acting is really good from the kid and the mom is really good too and the girl is really good too and this movie literally consists of four people and well three if you don't count the guy who doesn't speak who follows them around but overall like this movie in terms of like the horror is not good like it's it's not it's not scary at all but and a typical for me to say because really nothing scares me in horror movies they're just entertaining for me but this was just not entertaining horror but like the the character development for this even though it's not like it's pretty like simple character development I thought it was really solid and really actually interesting and the acting on all parts for like the three three main characters was really really good and they actually sold me just how you felt their relationship you felt how they it felt like they were really people that have been been like even though this is one movie they're in it feels like you've known them for a long time because of the acting the acting is really good and it really sells this but the only the fact is it's just burdened by a shitty like horror part of it so this is a really mixed bag where I like the acting and the characters, but like the horror isn't good. And I know this is a horror movie, so that's what you go into expect, but but yeah, the horror part of it sucked. So overall it's just it's forgettable, but it's got a few good things that I can give it, and I like when a bad movie can give me that. Like it's definitely not the worst thing ever. By god, it is not the worst thing ever, but overall it's just one of those weird, um, straight to Netflix movies that 
is completely and utterly average, but I didn't hate watching it. It was just just a lackluster horror movie with a few cool elements to it. 